Strategy and Snark presents Dungeons and Dragons Online. Welcome back. Today, we're going to go take a look at the Sands of Menectarun uh, epic version. But first, my inventory management is terrible. We've been getting all of these pack materials, things you use to upgrade the named items in that pack, which is starting to overload my inventory. Not that I really pay a lot of attention anyway. But since we have the ability to do so, we've done all of the quests up to this point, we're actually eligible for a reward that I just never bothered picking up. If you talk to the Twelve patron here in the Tower of the Twelve, he gives us a new bag. Not an inventory bag, unfortunately, but one of these little bags. Specifically, get it, get out of my way. A small ingredients bag. Now, a while ago, they changed the naming conventions. So when it says small, it really means what used to be medium. So we're sitting on a small collectibles bag. It's 12 slots. Small ingredients is 30 because I should really go and I should really just buy <sighs> so we're going to grab look at that that's 7 inventory spaces back at the cost of 1 and I could honestly dump every all 12 of these into this one <laughs> but we're going to end up filling those over time anyway I should also go sell the junk loot, but if I could teleport, I uh, I probably would go and get the medium collectibles bags too. You can get, just by paying platinum, the currency you have more of than you will ever use, you can get the red and blue bags for the collectibles and gems. You can get the 30 count ones just by walking into a store in House Jurasco. It's on the south end of the map. It's just in House Jurasco. You just go buy it. If you want the large ones, you get them either super, 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 super lucky rare drop in a chest anywhere or the auction house. At any rate, we have enough inventory we can move on. So, back to the desert. So, last time we went to the desert, we did that uh, desert caravan quest in order to get there. We don't have to do that. A, because they changed it. I don't think you have to do it anyway. But B, that's actually not an epic quest. So that, right off the bat, that's our biggest change from the heroic desert to the epic desert. Epic desert does not have all of the quests epic. It actually only has four and the raid, if I remember right. So we're going to do the main ones. Uh, the big knoll city that I hate. We're going to do the one where we run away after stealing some indigenous artifacts. And we're going to do the one where we go and stab a guy who's already dead. And if we're lucky, I'll be able to take the quest. Um, the the pre-raid. The decent culmination to all of this. Can I... Reset. Yes, okay. Quest reset, but did I take the quest. Haha! <laughs> Remember, resetting the quest is not taking the quest. Do not, do, do not make you, don't give yourself an extra run all the way through the desert if you don't have to. So, those are the four quests we're going to do. I'm going to double check, but according to my list, Those are the only quests that have epic modes. Now, the raid is epic. Okay, the raid... I mean, the 
desert itself isn't even epic, but the raid is technically epic. Yeah. Four quests. Now, the desert in Heroic was huge. There was, like, three quests in every corner of the world, right? A couple walk-ups. In addition to the regular ones. I mean, I've got the list right here. There was one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We did ten last time. So six quests. Just six quests didn't get the upgrade. So. I will say. It's the... It's the quests people care about that got the epic version. And this is a very, very old pack, okay? So it's not like they just came out and were like, hey, we updated this pack and decided not to do these four. It's when epic mode was... Not even epic mode. Yeah, so when the original epic mode was out, where you did it at level 20... Where they had no epic abilities or anything. And it was the equivalent of doing these on Elite is kind of what I'm told it was like. It was the hardest mode. Here we go. Eh, we could probably do hard. Never mind that I haven't actually practiced anything about this character in a while. Because the computer is freshly back. Especially in epic mode, people. This right here, okay? The epic destinies are going to make you 20 times more powerful than the developers intended at any point in this leveling process. And it is glorious. <laughs> I would much rather be overpowered and then run the content on a slightly harder mode than constantly feel like I can't pull things off. I feel like I should have been more prepared before I came out into the desert, but we'll see if I screw up what I screwed up last time. Hello, Gnolls. Which always sounds so loud to me, but I, with my new audio settings, I can just mute the Gnolls. You can hear them, I can't. Take that, Gnolls. Yeah, we're getting hit for 10. 10. Out of our 1,110. And we are hitting them for... More than 10. We are a little... Actually, are we over-leveled? This quest is technically level 23. We are level 24. We're not really over-leveled. Not really. We are a little overpowered because of the Epic Destinies. So, in terms of the actual quest itself, I do not believe that, you know, because these are much older, I don't believe there's much different about these other than the enemies have a few higher level abilities. Can I, can I just fix that? Yes, I can. Excellent. I am, again, pleasantly surprised with the utility of remove disease. Because of the enhancement, not because of what it does by itself, but still. Oh, hey, that one's actually going to take a few hits. So, continuing my thought from a moment ago. These were some of the original epic quests. So, it was only the special quests that got an epic mode. They didn't just epic mode everything like they do these days. So, it makes sense why the other six quests don't have epic modes, because they weren't the main quests. 
it's just a little bit weird from our modern point of view. Because it would be really weird for them to put out a quest these days that wasn't playable in at least two different... No. Playable at least two different difficulty levels. And I'd be willing to bet that as the level cap keeps going up, we start seeing uh, them triple dipping. So we go to 20 in... 20 levels worth of heroic play right now. And then we've got... I honestly don't remember if the level cap went up in the last update or not. I want to say we're at 32. They might have pushed it to 34 and I wasn't paying attention because I was doing this. We're obviously not at the level cap. At any rate... 21 to 30 is supposed to be epic. 31 to 40 is supposed to be legendary. So I wouldn't be surprised once the level cap actually gets to 40 if they bring out a pack and they're like, and it's going to be level 11, 21, and 31. You know, just start chopping it in there so that no matter... From, from the... From their point of view, right? They're trying to make it so everybody can play it, no matter where they are in the levels. Because not everybody goes all the way back to level one. That was one of the reasons I heard them say they keep adding things at heroic and epic was not everybody's going back to level one. Some people are just like epic TRing, so they can still play the new content during their epic TR. I think that it's uh, probably more practical than that. If you're making the quests, like if you're actively making them brand new, it's probably way easier to just, while you've got the files open, make them heroic and epic right there at the same time. Oops. Took one too many steps. That's what I think it is. It's just easier. Like, it's not like they have to go back and, like, reevaluate anything. They've got the stuff open. They can throw them in exactly where they want in one shot. I think that they're just getting double the, double the content for not to double the work. So I would be... The hell are you? Death Hex Wraith? That's an enemy I'm not familiar with. I mean, it's a wraith, so it probably isn't going to really do much to us. Ha ha ha. I don't remember there being wraiths in here um, our first time through. Stupid crippling. Get up here, Andaro. Best thing you can do is be melee. Not the one behind us. That one. Thank you. Trigger the floor to break. I've changed my mind. Go attack that one. Good enough. Whack. Okay, Andaro, I have a new task for you. <laughs> go pull that lever. I said, go pull the lever. Go pull the lever. Lever's been pulled. Job done. I mean, I don't... What's my intelligence? Nine? We still don't have the intelligence to read the plaque and see if we're in the right tower or not. I don't really care. Like last time, if we get lucky and we hit the Lich King on the first try, great. The hell is that? <laughs> 
<laughs> am, am I the only one who saw a cartoonish exclamation mark over my head? Okay. Get up here, Andaro. Also, you should probably stop dying. Okay. I, as I said in the previous video, have not had my computer for about a month. And in that time, there was an update. I believe it was the update that made the Droam quests epic. Which means I need to figure out what level they're at and put them into my list. I want to say I, I remember reading something about... If your party member finds a trap, it alerts you so you don't run through the trap anyway. So maybe that's what it was. But that looked like, you know, Roger Rabbit style, like, look, a trap. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? That, that's a choice. That's, that's definitely a choice. That will get some attention. <laughs> Definitely get some attention. Of course, I don't have the trap finding, so I'm not sure how my cleric hireling would have detected the trap to begin with, but okay. I mean, he he has spot. But it just went off again and I didn't get a giant exclamation mark. Weird. You know, you guys are not threatening, you're just annoying. I should say, if you are doing this and you are not as... Uh, Risky of a player as I am. Just kill everything as you go. I'm kind of relying on my relatively bad stats, right? And just my paladin ranking. <laughs> I'm absolutely re relying on class features to keep me alive. Instead of doing it right. But we've already seen this, right? I'm interested in what's different between the last time we were here and now. Oops, didn't mean to push that one, but okay. We're on a crusade. And now we're out of our crusade, and now we're back into our crusade. I can turn my buff on. I want to say, since we got the air gin, this is not the Lich King. I'm pretty sure he's the one with the Ifrit. You know, the fire genie. But, you know, when this guy stops running away. How are you blurry? I have true seeing, don't I? He might be incorporeal. Whatever. Free toy inside. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Alright. I don't suppose you're the king. Yo, wakey wakey? Nope. Didn't think so. I'm not. Ooh, that's new. He gets friends. There you go. These fights are slightly more difficult. Because they get extra guys in here that I don't think were here on Heroic. Which is honestly a good way. Like, I like that. I mean, if you're gonna... If you can't change the quest... Tossing a couple extra bad guys into the boss fights and stuff. You know, just dot them here and there. Spice it up a bit. That's fine. I'm not looking for a completely different quest at Epic, right? Because that would just be a different quest. I just like it when they shake it up a little bit. 
So it's not literally copy paste. All right, so let's try num door number two. I'm going to go try door number two. I'm going to, dang it, I was hoping I was fast enough to get through there without having to stop and fight. Ugh. Ugh, still too fat. Where's my jump potion? Ugh. That's what I think of you, skeleton. We have zero ranged ability. Zero. What do we got? That level eight returning throwing axe. Was that? Hello, chest. This is the seal, right? The seal of fire. I do not believe we got that when we were here in Heroic. But it is just randomly down here in the basement level. So obviously, there's no epic version of the Tomb of the Astrologer or the Physician. So if you want to bypass all three of the genie fights, you actually have to go rerun those quests on Heroic, which really sucks. Now, there's, I mean, it's such a minor thing, right? It's not really, it's not worth the time to go back and jump. It's not worth the time to go back and do two extra quests for the sake of skipping two fights. I mean... Okay, if you're doing it on like a high... A high Reaper. There's my potion of curse removal actually being useful. If you're doing it on a high Reaper, I could understand... Not risking it, right? Just go do the two quests on heroic normal or whatever. Casual. Go do them on casual just to go fast. Get them out of the way. Get those two seals. That's two fights you don't have to fight. Or if you're on hardcore, yeah, why, why fight if you don't have to? Always get them on hardcore, but you're not... No, you... you on hardcore, you would have... On Hardcore, since you can't enter the quests that far over-leveled, you'd have to preemptively, back when you were level 11 or whatever, you would have to be thinking ahead and getting however many of those seals you wanted for your future tomb runs. That's funny. Maybe worth it. Two casual runs, you're not going to be in much danger in those quests. And it erases two fights when you go to Epic. It's two less fights. We, we don't care. Like, what happens if I die? I click the button on the hireling and I'm not dead anymore, right? It slows us down, I have to recast my buffs, I look like an idiot. Not a big deal. Hardcore, big deal. Elite mode, bigger deal since you don't have as easy a time restoring your... Ooh, there's those ghost things again. Did I really accidentally kill that thing? Wait. I don't think those things had scaled up to epic. <laughs> we did not do very much damage. I mean, I did damage, but the little skull icon was on, like, the grazing hit and killed the thing. I don't think those are scaled up to epic. Up we go. And again. Kill these out of spite. Even more so than heroic you'll notice that I am just running through the traps come on Andaro 
Go. The only trap I care about is the haha. -ha, take five extra minutes to do the quest trap. I want you to fight that one because I want you to trigger the crumbly floor. Well, he went this way, and it didn't even crumble. So. All right, go straight across and get that guy. Trigger the crumble for me. Good boy. We might even not just leave you to die in the room over here. Apparently, I don't have a choice. <laughs> I didn't even do it. <laughs> he, he ran in and triggered it himself. He's casting spells. I mean, I'm not... We'll see what, I'm just going to turn around and kill this guy because he's annoying me. And we'll see what uh, we'll see what Adaro gets up to. Sure, I did it last time. Go hit the thing. Just use the lever. Click, 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 click. No? Fine. Wait, did it work? He got it. Good job, Andaro. Now you don't have to die. I will even give you this potion. Okay, apparently that's not how that worked. Do I have the spell? Oh, hey, it's open now. Did you... curse... the... Okay, he is too stupid to not cast his spell. So, what makes the clay golem scary for people who did not bring the potions is it's a healing curse. So he takes zero healing from any healing. And I thought maybe I have to use that was not the right button. Here. Seven. I don't know how to use a potion on the higher leg. It says target friend or self. But maybe that's just because they're copying the remove curse spell and just copy pasted it in there, but you can't actually use the potion on somebody else. Never tried. Usually I have remove curse because it's one of the few paladin spells that does something, but see there it is again. <laughs> Just <laughs> Metal Gear Solid giant <laughs> exclamation mark. <gasps> I can't make I can't I don't know how to make the sound. And I will never remember to go and put the sound effect in, but that'd be funny. Man, YouTube is gonna be full of rogues running around. Just putting that sound effect over every time they find a trap. It's just... It's not even that it's just an exclamation mark, right? It's that it's rubbery and goes woo. <laughs> I think it's funny. I don't, I don't know how... Dungeons and dragons -y it is, but it's funny. See, again, with the crumbly floors. Go, get that guy. See, you can tell the floor's crumbly because you can see there's a gap. Alright, well, he went that way. I will also. Why didn't I just tell him to pull the lever? <laughs> That's what I should have done. How much duration you got left on that? Oh, it's still the old school version. Interesting. So, we're going to just leave you behind. So, they rarely do this anymore. Now, 
I remember this from when I first did these quests. I thought they updated it. Because I wasn't paying attention, apparently. That healing curse doesn't have a duration on it. Slay living? Don't I have, like, three layers of death block? Are you seriously just spamming? God damn it. Stop spamming heal on yourself. It won't work. Cast spell on me. Cast spell on me. Stupid hirelings. Do not show this in quests. Go away. So as usual, the hirelings can't act if they're on stay here mode. It didn't used to be that way. You used to be able to just click the abilities. Alright. Apparently. Apparently I don't have death block. Which feels weird. But I feel like somebody is going to just be like, Oh yeah, remember five episodes ago you gave up your death block item because it gave you plus one run fast or something dumb? It's probably this. It's what it is. I probably took this and all of this extra charisma over death block because I have death ward. I was just too lazy to cast it. <laughs> Onward! <laughs> Smite! Anyway... Now I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, there's the Ifrit. I think we're... I think this is going to be Rayum. For two reasons, actually. One, this tower isn't exactly the same as the other one. Maybe that's just natural. Like, this one's never the same, but... There was one room that's different in this one than the other ones. Hey, Andaro, you want to come see a lich? Really? Alright, I guess we're going full clear. <laughs> Completely unintentionally doing all three towers. Which, if I was like generically leveling up, this is exactly what I would have wanted, because I want the treasure, right? I want to get the extra XP. want to get the treasure. And honestly, it's a little bit simpler when... I mean, it depends if you have Dimension Door or not. Holding Shift to fall faster. All right, open this door. Because you need to rest to get rid of your <laughs> curse. And I guess I'm even going to swap my spell out just to, so I have the ability to fix that in case it happens to him again. Where's remove curse? What level is that? There it is. So we have to give up... Well, you will temporarily give up prayer because it's more likely I'm going to remember <laughs> that I gave up prayer if I switch out to spell magic I'm just going to get up to a spell ward and be like but ah uh. if I switch out prayer I might actually remember sooner hey look it, uh, a death ward you know what we're also going to death ward him because I'm a good boss My, my nine intelligence is showing. <laughs> and my probably equal amount of jump. What is my jump at? We've got a couple epic levels in here. Seven. <laughs> at least my intelligence is higher than my jump. Have you just been waiting for me to come back this whole time? Oh, we're on the other side. I thought I went out the same door as before. Damn it, now I'm going to have to do another one of these rooms. 
Because I didn't go out the door, I went out last time. That's on me. If you're going to come down here, just always take the same path out of the basement. Okay, well that's just cheating. Always take the same path out. Then you don't have to do any of these extra fights. Are you kidding me? Can't I walk on that? I'm pretty sure I walked on that before. Do you have to jump? Apparently you have to jump. Lessons in geometry. It's not like we were in any danger. Bonk. Really? How many of you guys are just wait? Okay, so... This is a Dungeons and Dragons thing, right? You go into some crypt and, oh no, it's full of undead or whatever, right? Those undead have either been there for a very short amount of time because nobody's crushed them yet. They must be, like, fresh. Or they've been there such an unreasonably long amount of time, like super ancient crypt thousands of years old nobody even remember who's buried there kind of crap like even the undead have to have limits right even liches had something where they had to like consume a soul every year or something like that or they would degrade I don't think that a zombie can literally just sit there forever. That sucked. But I'm pretty sure I was auto running the wrong direction anyway. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm too far over. <laughs> I was like, that looks like it goes back to the big room. No, no, scooch over. Usually. Now I gotta go back and grab it. Where the hell did Andaro die? Get out of my way, little ghoul. Did I just leave him locked in a room? And he died to like four skeletons? And now, I can't get in there because there's guys in the way. Fired. We have to walk by the entrance anyway. <sighs> Fired. What I was saying is usually, if you need to do, I believe they call it the South Tower, the one down here. I usually just run straight. Like, I go south straight to it. But I think I turned because I wasn't paying attention instead of running straight into the tower. But we'll find out. We're going to summon the rogue. Musasapa. Really? One of you fuckers comes all the way up here? And a mummy? Like, why? Again, why are they even here, right? The so in a, in, a gen in a general sense, not talking about this one specifically, but you find an old tomb, right? Thousands of years old, full of undead. How? I mean, just weathering, right? Zombies still rot. Okay, so it wasn't just autopilot. I legitimately cannot go this way. Because the thing's not there. I have to go all the way around the other side. So, like, zombies still rot. They don't stop rotting just because they're undead. 
And unless you're going to tell me that, oh, well, they just, when they rot past a certain point, now they're skeletons. Those are a different entry in the monster manual, but okay, okay. Sure, now they're skeletons. Bones don't last that long. The only reason we have dinosaur bones is because they're not made of bone anymore. They've been fossilized, literally to turned to stone. All right, where's the door for this? I think it's just straight ahead here. But yeah, turn to stone. And even then, it's not like any old bone turns to stone after X number of years. It has to be in a very, very specific set of circumstances. Like, it's a miracle we have as many dinosaur bones as we do. It's crazy just what had to happen. I could maybe, maybe see the mummies. Because mummies, people went out of their way to preserve them. So I could see them lasting longer. I don't know what the shelf life of a mummy is. It's not like we actually do that much anymore. I guess, uh, unless you count taxidermy. Which... I would... I don't know. I am not... I, I'd rather... I would rather go to a museum and see a replica of a creature as opposed to a stuffed one. Right? Like, I don't want you to take the corpse of the creature and, like, try to preserve it over the years. Just make a... Make a toy. We could practically 3D print anything these days. <sighs> I guess I need to actually heal myself now and then. Wherever my heal button is. I'm reasonably sure I have one. I guess I should actually be paying more attention since. I've got what? Four lay on hands, my once every ten minute heal. Get up here. Oh no, me fits. It's really, it's still temp. Hey, you're a rogue, right? Right? Find trap. Trap found. I want to say trap box is over here. No? I don't play rogue very often, so I don't actually know where the trap boxes are. There. Do it the... Do it the smart way. And by smart way, I mean your job. It is not blocked. You <laughs> coward. Ta da. What's shooting at us? Oh. Hello. I don't trust this floor. I much prefer when it breaks. Because if it doesn't break, I'm just like, ah, oh, did it just not break because the hireling didn't step on the right square? Again, and I am reasonably certain I mentioned this when we did this in Heroic, but if you do fall in there, it's just pull a lever and you have to walk up some stairs and get back. It's not a big deal. But I don't want we are already taking the longest possible amount of time to do this quest i 
I had no intention of doing the two mini bosses. We just did not. Didn't get lucky. One in three chance every tower. I mean, unless there's a pattern to it, I don't know. And I don't have the... In I guess, like, if you bring somebody with intelligence, like a wizard or a real rogue, you can get away with... I mean, you can get away with reading the things that are halfway up. Okay, pull the thing. Pull it. Why are you walking back to me? You know what? Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. You'll notice I killed the one on this side and then hugged the wall on the other side. So the archers couldn't hit me and interrupt the pull animation. Here's my big old rubber friend. That was not where I meant to be. You know what? Before I wake up the medium-sized skeleton, let's go ahead and knock out all of these more annoying ones for once. Now it's just you and me, Mr. Gatekeeper. And I have my, my death ward up, so you can't actually use Slay Living and hope I roll a 1. What is my fortitude save? Plus 46. 46. I don't know if that's good or bad. And the game will never tell you. Hi, dude. I wonder if that's coincidental that there's two treasure chests and the one we know has to be Rayum. Blah, 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 blah. You're going to spin around for a while, so I'm going to use Consecration for some free healing while we wait. Sigh. Trapped in fog? Oh no. The most deadly of all weather conditions. Fog. I mean, I guess if you're an air gin, you just would be like, a, beware my powers of gusts and fog. Fog should really be more of a water gin thing, shouldn't it? It just kind of rides the, the line in between. Take those and some cash. Take some cash. Ooh, that's constitution? I don't care about agile. Alright. Actually cast buffs. I don't know if he can actually... Hey, look, more of those wraiths. Do you do anything special? Or do you just die? <laughs> well, they're dead now. Beware my left mouse button. Oh, he dispelled us. I saw that. He cast Dispel. There was a chance he could dispel... Let's see, is my death ward still up? Yeah. Where are you going? Yoink. I mean, the XP is still pretty good. You could recall right now. I'm going to walk. Because we might as well go get our free treasure chests. We did the other two towers. I'm getting my reward. This is where Dimension Door comes in handy. A lot of people keep mentioning the uh, level 11 fighter hireling with the Dimension Door. It's like, yeah, but then I have to bring the level 11 fighter hireling all the way through the quest. I would rather have the cleric that even if he's bad at it still means I can basically ignore my health. 
Because if I have to walk back to the entrance to switch hirelings... Uh, I think we can take a shortcut up here. If i got to walk back to the entrance to switch hirelings, what's the point in the dimension door? I thought this was broken. Maybe it's the second one that's broken. Hey, you want a break for me? Just to give me a shortcut? No? Fine. Oh, there's the broken one. Don't have to walk 100% of the way. We'll just drop down here and turn around. Something. Little quality of life things. I would have liked it if... After you pick up the phylactery, you pick up, or after you pick up the phylactery, a corner breaks or something, just so that you can fall down, just to make it a little faster to get down here instead of walking all the way down that tower. For that reason, I kind of prefer, if I'm actually going to go the whole way through and get all of the... Um, come in, basically, to get in here. I'm going to come in here. I'd rather get Rayum in the first or the second tower. Because then I can actually... Well, no, that doesn't work either. I was going to say I can recall and walk back in. But no, once you have the phylactery... I'm going to take this Wand of Knock. There's, there's a non-zero chance that our UMD will allow us to use this Wand of Knock to maybe, occasionally, unlock something that we couldn't. Probably not, because we're not going to have any good DCs with it, but... There's a non-zero number of doors in the game that just care that you used the thing, not that you actually had any skill behind it. We got a full token. That's something. No named items. But hey, it was worth what? Almost 4,000 XP just to walk down here and loot the treasure chamber? Yeah, a little over 4,000. Ah, But it also made this quest much, much longer than I was expecting. Okay, Musa, sa, 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 sa. you did a good job in that you did not fall into a very basic trap and die. <sighs> now to do my least favorite one. I'm just salty. Is really what it comes down to. Ooh, a chest. I have had to make the run all the way to Chains of Flame, the Burning City, because I died or because I forgot something or because I was blind and I couldn't figure out how to unblind. Like, you remember those things. And you do all of that quest and then you don't get any named items. The, the loot or the, the XP is not amazing. Like, it's not... If it wasn't a flagging quest, I think, I don't know if a lot of people would bother doing it. It's tempting to go back there and see if we can get a, what's back there? The Ring of Spell Storing? Bloodstone? I'm not going to go look, but it's tempting. Most of the items you actually care about come from the raid. There's, what is it, the circlet? Of Rayum, I'm reasonably certain is a raid only item, and it's the one that gives you SP back as you get hit. Used to be best in slot, have to have it. Like, nothing. No, torque. It was a torque, so a necklace. It was a necklace. Used to be, like, you had to have it. I took a wrong turn. These days, it doesn't have any stats on it. So, I mean, relevant stats. Uh, 
Tell me, oh map, am I going the right way? Yeah, the river's right here. Remember, folks, didn't used to have horses, right, for the free movement bonus. What are we at? 80% faster. Okay? 80% faster. We didn't used to have 80% faster. My 80%. Now I'm in the 20%. Okay, back to 80%. It's not how percents work. Pulling this tight left. Man, it took me so long to, the first time to figure out how to get up here. And even on the revisits, right? It takes a lot of times out here before it's like, okay, I need to go right as soon as we get to the mountain. Hit the river, go left, go up, hook tight left to get across the bridge, and then go all the way around the mountain back and forth. So that we can go down in the city, so that we can go up in the city, all the way to the top of the city, to stab a guy. Give me a grappling hook, okay? Let me borrow that fly spell from the Storm Reaver. Give me a freaking bed sheet. There's enough thermals in there. We could probably... We could probably hot air balloon our way to the top. For a moment there, I forgot we were not on epic. It's like, I don't need to use abilities. I just need left mouse button. Because none of these guys are going to survive a single hit. Like, maybe, maybe if I get a grazing hit, like I, I roll like a two, then maybe I don't hit them, but I'm pretty sure I hit on a two out here. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Why is there no pay an astral shard or whatever to teleport straight to these quests? Why? Maybe there is and I didn't notice, but... At least at the point I did these most recently, there wasn't one. And I want one, and I'll never actually spend Astral Shards on that. But I want the option, damn it. Alright, switching back to Mr. Cleric. Oh, <sighs> Okay. Once more with feelings. Honestly, I dislike this quest so much, and I have so little I care about out here in the desert, even even with the upgraded desert items. And first of all, there you did in Heroic, there was not a fire elemental there, so there's a little difference. I want to like the desert. I feel like the the sandy desert section is fine. You've got two kind of samey pyramids. One big trap filled like gauntlet of a dungeon. Because it has a lot of traps, right? I I run through the traps because I don't care. I have enough defense. I don't have to worry about the traps. And we're only running on Epic heart. Like, uh, the, the traps are not going to hurt me. I mean, even if they hurt me, they can't kill me. But, if you're running by on a... a wizard, right? You're playing a wizard out here? Please, pay attention. Because <laughs> those traps are capable of doing damage it's just that they're not going to hurt me we are here to showcase what's different in epic mode which is going to be very little but I have committed to do every single quest and 
you kill them and they just they spawn and you kill them again and they spawn again are we are we done are we finally done with the methods we rolled really bad every time you kill a method it has a chance of spawning a weaker method in its place and man we got a lot of methods in a row back there i'm not even going to finish killing that method i'm just going to smite this one and go we're going to spin attack that one. You would think that eventually they'd be like, oh, he killed 30 of us. <laughs> maybe, maybe my tiny little claw is not going to be enough to finish off the guy who just killed that many of us. We have been here four freaking seconds and 41 things are dead. Knolls can't breed that fast, can they? Like, yeah, there's some methods in there, but... It still feels like... One guy comes in and kills, like, an entire generation's worth of gnolls. <laughs> run away, run away, run away. That is something I like about Warhammer. My my brother has decided that we're going to play Warhammer. I can't afford it, but he's decided to play Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, the fantasy, right? More Dungeons and Dragons era Warhammer. And there's a mechanic in there where if you blow away enough units of or you know, enough individuals out of a unit of fighters, the rest of them might just turn and run because you just blew five of them up and they're like, we out, and they'll just run. I imagine it will be frustrating when I'm actually playing the game and my guys run away. It's like, I needed you to, like, sacrifice yourself for the greater good here. Apparently there is a way to save this guy. I'm curious. Save Gaspar Gold Pike. A bluff of 21 or better, and that's probably on normal mode, not, or heroic, not epic. So bluff specifically, nope, what did we roll? It won't even tell me. Oh, it's not a roll, it's I have to have 21. Put on auto attack in the middle of this mini boss. I mean, how much bluff do we have? 43. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's more on epic. <sighs> 43. Hey. You're not dead. Did we actually succeed and I just didn't notice? Take the key, take my champion chest. You ain't dead. Also, apparently you can hang on his cage. I've never saved him before. So the answer is apparently... Uh, what did the guy say? How dare you. Oh, save dwarf for later, cook you instead. 
So apparently we did. We did piss him off enough. He attacked us instead of hitting the dwarf first. So you need to hit the bluff, not the other one. I don't. It doesn't say the other one works at all. You need to use bluff. And if it's high enough, you succeed. I've never saved him before. Not once have I saved that guy. I am... I mean, I guess there's... There's a first for everything. Now I'm gonna feel bad not saving random other guys as we run by. Go, Cobalt. I mean, we have to save a certain number of them. You know what? You. Go. You. Go. Mine. I get the feeling I'm not going to be able to open this. Chest. Stop auto-targeting the archer. Open the chest faster. You opened it halfway. Shut it. Op you know it takes even longer? There's a reason we don't do this. This is just spite right here. I'm not even going to push the button. He does not deserve me pushing the button. He's going to be killed by a lazy auto-attacking paladin throwing some random axe he found on the ground. Okay, he's going to be killed by a laser from the hireling that then pieces out. <laughs> also, I could have those four remnants. What ifs? Is it already time to go back again? Yep, guess so. Man, all of that is just like to get the first door open. And I know there's a fire trap here, so I'm going to tell the hireling not to follow me through the fire trap. That fire trap scares the crap out of me on hardcore. I don't believe you can disable it or you can't disable it from safety somebody has if it's disableable somebody has to go through will you okay thank you but pull the lever crunk stand stand right there and pull the lever thank you Now, we've seen that technique a few times. We're getting pelted by arrows, right? So I can't pull the lever because we keep getting hit. But I can physically be in the way of the arrows so that the hireling can pull the lever. Because anything that's trying to shoot him will just hit me instead. If you are a small race, like a halfling, just do the opposite. Okay, I don't remember there being an air trap there. Uh, the air trap didn't go off at the correct time. But I don't remember there being an air trap there. That's interesting. Just... I don't know if that's actually a difference or if I just am misremembering. Because this was like 10 something levels ago the last time we were here. It's not exactly my favorite quest, so... Not gonna get a lot of repeats. This may legitimately be... The last time I ever do this quest. I'm only doing it... <laughs> for the sake of doing every quest. I'll probably break down and... 
my brother or somebody will be like, I've never done this one before because he gets it in the free quest code that they had last month. And he's like, let's do Sans. I've never done Sans. Let's not, but okay. But that's just me. I've been burned by this city too many times. Let's see, how many slaves we gotta do? Six? We gotta six more slaves? Really? You you used your turn to heal the dog. Okay. We, I guess he might not have any other spells of note. Hi. Bye. Just spite, right? They've been shooting at us. This is what happens. You guys forgot to lock the door behind you. Actually, they didn't forget to lock the door. Now that I think about it, they absolutely locked the door behind them. And I still, still got them. So this, this is what we get for saving Gaspar. We get that, uh, we get that treasure vault key from saving Gaspar. Off the top of my head, I think you can also get it by saving all of the other regular slaves. There's something you get for getting all of the slaves. I don't get all of the slaves because some of them are in like really stupid spots like halfway. Like there's one. It's not this rock, but there's one that's on a rock like this. that You have to jump from above down to talk to him and then like jump the rest of the way down onto another ledge and climb back up. I ain't doing that. I don't want to climb it the first time. And no more slaves. Yeah, I don't want to do it the first time. I'm not doing it twice. Is it over here? Nah. I don't even usually open up the shrine. Unless I make a wrong turn. Hello, door. Hello, inevitable trap on the other side. This, this room is very trapped. So we're just going to hug tight and run. Which apparently means we bypassed the entire trap. Go us. And then we immediately, immediately take 100 damage to the door trap. Oh, the price of hubris. Well played, game. Well played. That's the kind of mean trap that I would put in like a Dungeons and Dragons game and then the players would be like, that wasn't there before. You're just mad that we walked past your trap. It's like, well, yeah. It's absolutely that I'm mad you just walked past the trap. Right down the middle. Keeps us out of range of the blades on either side. Which is my absolute favorite kind of trap. The trap that if you know how you can get past it without having to disable it because the gnolls have to know how to get through it right unless they literally have somebody standing at like a lever all day long that's something that i really like i have not pulled it off very often but i really like that idea that all traps Okay, well that was that one was on me. I like the idea that all traps are avoidable. What was that? I get the feeling, yeah. They cast dispel on us cuz I can at least see that that is missing. I don't know if I care about anything else, but we'll throw death ward up just in case. Anyway, I like I like traps that you can avoid by virtue of figuring it out. Now, this does have some requirements on the trap. For one thing, it has to be a visible trap. It has to be something the players can see before they take the damage or get stuck or whatever it is. If the trap is a surprise, it, then there's no there's no way around it. It's got to be something like a big, obvious, spinning blade trap thing that, you know, Legend of Zelda style, just in the middle of the room. 
obvious so that they can think about it. I guess a better way to put it would be I don't really like traps in that they are ha ha you picked left instead of right take 12 damage. I do like obstacles. If I am presented with an obstacle course and I screw up and take 12 damage, well, that's either because I tried to make a jump that was maybe a little too risky. We are now stuck on this ladder. Okay, that was weird. Try again. so slow from the crippling. You crippled us and we still just carved through you one at a time. That last guy should be really contemplating his life choices right now. Anyway. I like obstacles. I think Dungeons should have more obstacles and less traps. Because honestly, if you're... I mean, let's think through it. If you're designing a dungeon, right? If you're designing it from the point of view of... I'm making a thing that should be fun for my players to get through. I would pause it. That it is more fun for them to see the trap and have to figure out a way around it rather than just springing some damage on them and then everybody just rolls the dice to see if they take more damage or not. That's just a... That's just a dice check, right? That's not a... That could be anything. That could have just been a fight. A trap is just a one-sided fight. So if you're putting, if you're just making a fun dungeon, aim for obstacles, right? Because it's not about getting the gotcha on your players. Like, yeah, you can imply a trap, like say you put two buttons in front of them, and, you know, a, a plaque says one of these opens the door. Sure. They'll, they'll assume the other one makes them take damage. That's fine. As long as there's, you know, something they're supposed to figure out so they know which one is the right one. You're not just literally rolling the... They roll a die to see if they're right or not is not making it any better. I can see there's an air trap over here. All right. Well, this is definitely different. We have found an obstacle. All right, let's start out at full health. I can just barely see that the air trap is still going. If we fall off the bridge, we fall a long way potentially into the volcano itself. Yeah, you can climb out, but I don't want to. So let's try... Let's try... Send to the hirelings. The hirelings tend to be immune... No, keep going. Oh, he's not. Interesting. They are usually immune to air jets. Interesting. Okay, you guys are just going to die a very slow and tedious death while I think about how to get across this bridge. Like, I'm not even a ranged character. 
You guys are plinking us for like 10 at a time, and one of you is already dead. So, Bridge of Fire. Unless I made a wrong turn, Bridge of Fire was not here on Heroic. As we just slowly whittle down. One knoll at a time. But yeah. This is a great example right here. I don't know how to get across this. I don't run desert at Epic. So I, I don't think I, I don't think I have anyway. My first thought, well, my first thought is send the hireling. Because the hireling is usually immune to air jet. My second thought, which I should really have this going for passive healing while we're standing here. My second thought is we might be able to jump on the edges here. And so if the jet is coming straight down the path, we might be able to run on the banisters. Yeah. What if I could wedge wedge myself in there before the game remembers that I'm supposed to be flying? There we go. I think that's just a game timing thing, but I was able to run up, and then before the game remembered it was supposed to push me, I put myself against that wall. So when it pushes me, I don't go anywhere. There we go. I was not able to run along the banister. I didn't 100% go for it, but I was a little afraid of falling off. But there were spikes on there, so it was not, I don't believe it was letting me jump to this point I was trying to jump to. Well, that was refreshing. You know, I don't like this quest, but I do like that it actually made me stop and have to think for a moment. And now we're just crippled again, getting hit by a whole bunch of archers. That I'm not going to spend any time throwing things at. Hello, slaves. Uh, one slave. So remember, you actually have to save 16 slaves. Should be another one in these hallways here. 15 is the requirement, but number 16 is the one that actually gives you the key you need. Door is locked because we have to keep going. Royal Firebrand Key from slave number 16. We need one more regular key. I think it's one more. That'll get us into the library, I believe. Stone Guard. I do miss my Vorpal ability actually triggering. You know, but you know, when you get into epics and everything has way different HP, it was never destined to last. I thought for a second we were actually going to get it. I want to open this treasure chest. I want to open the treasure chest. Ireland, come here. Thank you. 
Okay, Hugh Ben, you can go. Go, go, go. And I'll just ignore those guys because it's not worth it's not worth the time. Do we have to go that way? I got a key. But do we need two keys? I don't think we have to go this way. We don't. This is the lever that drops the bridge that leads you to the shrine. Boop. I believe there's supposed to be a slave up here, which I don't see, but... I am reasonably certain that we have enough abilities at this point and enough SP on the hireling that I don't need to worry about the curse of blindness in here. Boy, do I get annoyed by the curse of blindness when I'm not prepared. In a pinch, okay, in a pinch, you can blindly run following your map and whatever bonks you have, try to run back out there, back around the corner, back to where you hit that lever, and blind jump onto the bridge, cross it, open the door, shrine. And that'll remove the blind. It sucks. Alright. Blind. Hireling. Hireling is supposed to fix that. So I'll take a remove curse potion. There we go. Come prepared, no problem. I used a couple of my remove disease there because I was curious if that would work. It did not. I want to know how Mr. Cleric decided he was going to heroically charge up the ladder around the corner and through the door to charge all of those guys by himself instead of just casting Remove Curse. Maybe he doesn't have remove curse because if I think I, I think if he had remove curse he would have used it on himself in the last quest. So maybe he just doesn't have it. I didn't have it technically. I guess I could have cast it on myself and saved myself a potion, but no, my platinum. What will I do without it? I mean, I've done nothing with my platinum, and we've got. 360,000. Yeah, that's not a lot compared to other players. But in terms of in-game economy, like, I should have retired 12 levels ago. <laughs> Lived a comfortable life. Hello, traps. The server will be shutting down in three hours. If it takes me three hours to finish this goddamn pack, it won't. We're not doing all the quests. So from, we're almost at the end of this one, which really just feels like we just keep going forever. We're almost at the end. Then we do the shortest quest. And finally we do the one I am the least familiar with because I keep forgetting you can actually do it outside of a raid. Like, honestly, when we did the... What is it? Against the Demon Queen? Yeah. I keep getting that one and uh, Zwabi's Revenge 
mixed up because you do them back to back. But I believe the the quest is against the Demon Queen. And I, for the longest time, thought it was a raid. Right? I've just tucked it away in my head as a raid. One of those quests that requires four players to complete, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't. We did it. It's just... For some reason, in my head, it just... It, it's in the raid category and I ignore it. It's also a long, 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 long freaking walk. Which you have to walk out to the burning city and right and then the claw of Volkur is on the other side of the map. No, no that's red fence. The Volkur spiral is on the other side of the map. Well that was interesting. There's air jets pushing you into the boss fight. That amuses me. Roar. That amuses me. Everybody ready? Oh. Uh, almost gonna get him at the same time. Oh, I missed. Anybody else want to play? It was your trap. I'm gonna take your stuff. That was a lot of XP. It ain't worth it. <laughs> I was literally about to complain we didn't even get a whole token we got a token and a half I still don't I don't like this quest we out <sighs> apparently I'm still on fire I don't have to do them in order. So it's tempting to skip straight to We're going to see how easy it is to get over there. So I did these two first because the way I normally get to that last quest is coming from that quest. But we're already so far south. Let's give it a minute. Let's let's give it a minute and see if well, everything is like ravines and they're all going the way I don't want to go. We need like a we need a gap in that mountain. But yeah, let's let's give it a solid minute. See if it's easy enough to get to there from here, since we already have the quest. Because we did it in heroic, so I was able to pick it up. Really, you guys, you guys know that you got don't stand a chance, right? Your 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 survival rate com is completely proportional to my patience. All right, there's some there's Serpent's Pass. I'm pretty sure we need to cross that bridge. Let's see if that gap takes us in where we want to go. That is not a cave. I totally thought that was a cave. Pretty sure we want to be on that bridge. How about that pass right there? Let's see if that takes us up where we want to be. And it's is it this? No, it's not this way. Normally, I look at the map, right? 
but we're just kind of yellowing it right now. That looks promising. This looks less promising. Get out of my way. I feel like we're in the Knoll Village and not the thing I want to be in. Have we overshot? Not quite. Does this keep going? No. But it does loop around. I've never come to the quest from this direction. So. I think we've got it though. That was not that bad. Like, there's probably a more direct path. I just, uh. I didn't know it. But hey, look, there we go. The Court of Lilat. And people are still shooting at me. So this is what's gonna happen for the sake of for the sake of video. The magic of editing, we're gonna skip over to the Volcour Spiral, do that quest, and then I'll edit this one back in to be the last one. That's how we're going to do it. So, we're going to be in the Volcor Spiral. Oh, I don't know. Now, would you look at that? We're here at the Volcor Spiral. Way over, you know, obviously I just recalled and walked over here. Let's go knock out quest number three. This is the shortest of all the quests out here. Thankfully, it's just literally just run through the heist quest as it were you know what we picked up that wand of knock where did it go I'm going to stick it on my bar just on the off chance we actually get that door open because there's, there's a one or two chests that are uh, behind locked doors that can also potentially have named loot. I'm only half remembering that, but I'm, I think that's what it is. Oh, I'm not on the correct tab there. There we go. Time to steal their stuff. Yoinked. Mine now. Getting a little laggy here, which is probably my internet connection. I'm going to say not probably not their servers. Computer's been acting up a little bit, which I guess from your from your temporal point of view. You will see in the future. There's the door. Computer was out for an entire month. It didn't cost me anything to fix because it's under warranty, but I'm not convinced the warranty guys are worth anything. You know, you call tech support and they're like, uh, did you turn it off and turn it on again? Yes, I did that. Like, they don't, they didn't even give me a report of what they did. They're like, ah, we reinstalled Windows. How? Like, did you just yoink the hard drive out and put a different hard drive in and then reinstall Windows or something? Like, you didn't... There's a lot of variables that you are not telling me about. And none of that has anything to do with the issue that I actually emailed them about. Uh, we failed on an 11, so we're probably never going to succeed. Yeah, we failed on a 15. We're going to give up. But it's worth a try. You never know. You never know.
I don't know. It works. It technically works. Jump out far so you're not hit by the fire trap. Promptly fall off and aggro all the skeletons or scorpions. Try that again. Whack, whack, whack. Can I just close this behind me, please? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think that uh, actually stops things from chasing you. But I'd like to think that it does. Thematically, it does. I mean, it's their security system. I literally drop in through the skylight, take their stuff, and then fight my way out their front door. And the whole reason we're here, right? So, like, presumably we are here because we're helping Zwabi. Right, we need the drow blessed blood or something like that. Presumably that's why we're here. But the quest giver who actually gives us this quest is just disgruntled, right? Disgruntled ex-employee basically sends us to take out the <laughs> all of her co-workers. It's like, okay. All right. This chest over here behind Dark Stinger actually does have named loot potential. So we're going to go give it a try. The spectral gloves are the thing that used to get farmed out of here. I don't know if they're still worth it or not, but we're going to go see if there happens to be some. As soon as burning blood stops pretending it can hurt me. We have 59 and 35 resistance, and we're still taking a couple damage per tick. All right. I think that's basically the halfway point of the quest. But from this point on, there are unlocked doors that potentially have treasure in them. I do not smell a treasure chest, so we're not going that way. Hello, priest. Goodbye, priest. Again. Well, no. For once, it makes sense that everybody is kind of fighting to the death because we are literally... Like, they are in between us and the exit, right? It's not like they have anywhere to retreat to, really. Because, like, from their point of view, we're already on the inside. They're being invaded. They're going, oh, crap, what do we do? They're inside. So they fight. We are the invaders. I'm not saying that these were good people. But technically, we're the invaders. I guess technically, we're always the invaders, like, depending on your point of view. If we, you know, open up a tomb and go clear out a bunch of undead, technically, we're the invaders. The undead were just sitting there, minding their own afterlife, just entombed, doing nothing, not hurting anybody. Depends on your setting, though. Couple more these to chop down, and I want to say... Yeah. I want to say there's always two chests among these three doors. So we skipped the first one, because I could see, using Q, there was no chest. No point in doing an extra fight. Because there will still be things in the room, just not a chest. 
And I know it's kind of quirky and it's only a leftover of like the code being so old. But honestly, using Q to select things and being able to see whether there are already chests and stuff, like, I like that. I honestly like that. That's one of the the charming little quirks of the game that I actually like. And when I play other games and I can't see through walls, it annoys me. It's not a reasonable thing to be annoyed at. But, you know, I get used to being able to use Q and find my objective. Wow, there. They have added air traps to this, which is going to make this a bit tricksy. No. Damn it. We got crippled at the last second. <laughs> it threw off my timing. Because there's a million archers. Because why wouldn't there be a million archers? All with crippling. Alright. Try this again. Up, 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 up. Up, up, jump. Hey. What is going on? That was weird. Although, now I kind of vaguely remember that happening last time, too, that the invisible wall coll collision was a little off. I'm not opening that door. <laughs> it's their security system. This is, uh, this is Grandpa can't remember the code to deactivate the alarm. They're all running back and forth, and they're just like, uh. Ah. All right. What was that? That time I saw an error. The encoding was overloaded. I wonder if that's going to affect the, uh, Affect the recording. Don't know. We will find out. All right, so for you, this is just going to get cut into the other video there you go there was there was an offering of blood on epic mode this is probably the one that had the least changes the only thing off the top of my head that was any different was i don't think that there were air traps on the little lightning bridge with archers that we just passed i don't think that had air traps on it before in heroic but other than that it's exactly the same quest. Bonk, we out. I mean, did they... I mean, we'll take that mysterious remnant. Uh, do they give us an epic chest? Because I, I don't remember this... Is this one of those quests that didn't even give us a end reward? Gotta talk to what's her name. There's our epic chest. Okay. Me want. I mean, 60k is. for 12 minutes? Like, seriously. I want you to think about. It took us significantly longer to do Chains of Flame for not that much more XP. Anyway, back to the entrance of the last quest. Look at that. We're back. It's magic. 
Okay, in we go for the last quest, which is totally the last quest I'm doing and not the third quest because I'm lazy and don't want to have to walk again. Tome of the Six Swords. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, there's no point in trying to uh, solve it yourself. Against the Demon Queen puzzle. By the power of Google, so shall we succeed. Let's see, we are... Oh, apparently we got one that doesn't have very many options. Huh. We would have had an easy one anyway. So we are the very first one on the list. Snake, octopus, wolf, scorpion, monkey, bat. Ooh, Kako Demons. Oh, hey, right, buffs, including Death Ward, right now. <laughs> so, as I almost forgot to put my buffs up, we almost died. Because the Kako Demons in Demon Sands have Vorpal, which is blocked by Death Block. And as we learned in Rayum's Tomb, I'm not currently wearing a Death Ward item. So, let's not repeat mistakes. When possible. I mean, I'm not a professional, right? This I'm not playing... Reaper 10 on my fully geared tune after doing this for 800 hours. Well, that's interesting. I do not remember that. What are you? Are you like little dispelling things? Is that what you are? That's a, You don't quite look like the orbs of chaos. Oh, all of my buffs just went down. So yeah, that's obnoxious. Well, not all of my buffs, but enough of my buffs. As we have to fight all of these kind of squishy Ifrit. Anyway, first one we want is Snake. This is not Snake. Are you Snake? I think that's Snake. Do you guys just keep spawning, or am I just not seeing you guys? Because there's a lot of you, considering I've killed all of them so far. This is Snake, right? Snakeity Snake. <sighs> Death Ward. Elemental Resist. Good enough. Pretty sure I'm immune to disease, so I don't think the trogs affect me anymore. I'm still making saves. They must have an epic version. Snake, snake, snake. It is snake first, right? Yeah, snake first. And done with Snake. And we still have to fight the guy. The Prince of Swords. Do I think I know the secrets of the snake? Dude, I don't know anything about anything in this place. I'm here to stab you and your girlfriend. 
Like, I ain't here to, like, worship your weird snake demon lady. I am here to stab her. Anyway. Octopus is next. What do you look like? That's the wolf. So Octopus is going to be on the other side somewhere. That's bat. You octopus? No, that's monkey. Yes, octopus. And they knocked our buffs off again. Let's see. What do I remember about the water section? We're looking for keys, which I think the first one is in this block, right? So we're supposed to find the gap in the rock that we can swim into. Do to do 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 do. Lever. There we go. You drowned so slowly in this game. Wouldn't it be nice if that's how slow you actually drowned? That it legitimately took like 20 minutes underwater before you died. Do, 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 do. Where's the lever? There's a key over there. I'm pushing Q and not seeing anything. Let's go full first person mode so that I'm not in my own way. I do not do this quest that often, but I'm pretty sure there's just a... Pretty sure there's just a lever here somewhere. <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with the chandelier. Nothing. Nothing is showing up on Q. See, this this would be really scary if it was real. Because it's like, oh no, I'm drowning. But it's like, no, I'm drowning so slowly. Oh, there you are. Why didn't you show up the first 50 times I pushed the button? I swam up there. Hello, key. I will take that. Bunch of traps. Eh, I found another lever. Acquired iron key. We got that. Door open. Lever pull. I don't remember there being an air jet underneath the iron key either. I do remember there being traps. Pretty sure we just walked past and ignored them on Heroic, too. There we go. That wasn't too bad. We're not taking any chances with you. My charisma has been damaged. But now I only have... 44. Looked a little funny there for a second, but we're fine. Alright. Now we gotta swim back. This quest could really have used, like, some of those freebie dimension doors. You know, you beat this guy up, he dies, it drops a dimension door to take you back to the middle. What's next? Wolf. 
Wolf was the one on the opposite side. We want to go down here, I'm pretty sure. My least favorite of all these is still Monkey. I like that Monkey has something you need to do, but I'm half remembering having to use the hireling and not being able to make the jumps. And that was awkward. I have jump potions, but still. Pretty sure that one's wolf. Was I right? I'm right. Do we have our death ward up still? Yes. Oh no, we're attacked by the same evil hounds we are always attacked by. You guys, you guys think you're the elite. I literally cleaned out your city. Maybe these guys are just, they're literally the three guys I was too lazy to kill. All right, by the power of left mouse button, so shall we succeed. Here, eventually I will hit him, there we go. And one last little fight against probably Thrack Hounds. Yeah. Really? You're gonna knock me down. I'm just gonna get up again. We used to take a lot of balance. Balance used to be one of those skills you had to fit fit into your character build somehow. Not so much anymore. All right. After Wolf comes Scorpion. I think Scorpion was another run to the end one. Let's see. We did the three on this side. Scorpion is going to be... To the right. 50-50 shot. Oh, that's Monkey. That's octopus. There's supposed to be three on each side, right? Did I just not... I didn't turn sharp enough. It was bat anyway. Yeah, that looks like a scorpion. Okay. I don't remember what's in the scorpion path. Besides, presumably, scorpions. Okay, you are t only technically scorpions. There's no way that this floor doesn't break. Oh, come on, I pushed jump. It's probably a fake treasure chest anyway, but still. We're on epic mode. You never know what might be inside. We might get some of those pack ingredients. We'll get we'll see what we'll try to get it on the way out. Well this was a short one. Too bad we haven't done monkey yet. Monkey's the one I feel like takes the longest. Get in here, Andaro. He's standing out there in the poison trap going, Oh no, I'm a gonna die. Like, keep up. Prince of Swords keeps trying. Prince of Swords keeps failing.
There we go. And the last one is... Oh, no, we're not at last. We're at Monkey. And monkey is... To our right. No. It's across and to the left. Come on. Come on. You can... You can get on that one. Nah, I'm not going to make that jump. And it's going to bug me. What's that goddamn word? Somebody told me what it was. This is octopus. You know, um, in the patch notes, they took the wild men out of the Droan quests, because that's the quest they just recently did. I'm having trouble remembering where they are in the Droan quests. There's a village. I don't know what was offensive about the village. But I guess the idea is they're trying to take out these guys who are just slaves. And they replaced them with... What did they replace them with? Now I don't remember. Point is... Uh, the Wild Men are being phased out of the game, so if you like the Wild Men specifically for some reason, go uh, hang out with them while you can. Yeah. My two extra jump I have had since level 11. Except, I totally need you to stay there, because I'm probably going to need you to hit that again. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this one doesn't have timed gate. Maybe it was just... Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely timed. Really? You guys, did you not see me like decapitate your magic users? Like, you don't stand a chance. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> I'm going to come over here. I'm going to beat you up. We're going to face nothing. And we're going to spam the use button and hope the skate goes up. Yay! That's why we left the hireling over there. Teamwork. Also, I'm slow again. Stop casting slow. You're never going to kill me with slow. You're just going to annoy me so I actually come and kill you. God damn it. Get up there. Are you I did not jump off of that. Go. Why will you not climb up there? go what is is it can i not enter his five foot square is that what it is by the power of jump so shall ye die like none of you guys stand a goddamn chance i'm not even healing and the hireling is not here none of you stand a chance and you're still just annoying me you happy
I don't remember what video it was. Actually, it was probably the... Uh, that was just a sloppy jump on my part. It was probably the Snow Peaks. Why? Why would you have it go off more than once? Okay, I'll stand slightly to the left and push the button. Stupid monkeys. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you happy now? Fucking like I could have just left the hireling there because the hirelings are most of the time immune to air jets, so there you go. There you go. I hope I hope all you little wild men are happy. You get to go out on a high note of annoying the paladin. You know why wild men are being taken out of the game? I killed them all. There's none left. You're getting their understudies. Anyway. There was... I think it was the Snow Peaks Festival episode. I could not, for the life of me, remember the word for when you... It's not going to do it if I try to do it on purpose. For this. There's a word for climbing up on something like this. You know. So this is called mantling. That's the word for it. And I could not remember that goddamn word. And then it was like three months later, right? Because of the sequence of how videos come out. Three months later, somebody leaves a comment on that video. And it's just the word mantling with no context. And I'm like, I know exactly, exactly why this word is here. I was so happy. Just like it just clicked. It clicked into my head. Just like, that's the word I couldn't remember. I knew exactly what it was about. Now, I don't remember who wrote the comment. I tried looking it up. But I can't. Apparently, there's no search function for the comments. At least not that I can find while actively being blown around by monkey traps. I feel like this one's the one with all the sonic damage in it. <sighs> Stupid methods. Get out of here. But yes. If you ever see this random person who put that one word in that comment, you really made my day. And it took me a minute to remember the word today. But I remembered because of you. Mantling. And the whole reason that I couldn't think of that, the whole reason it was important, that's one of the things Dungeons and Dragons Online has that most other games don't. Apparently, it's not actually that easy to put mantling into a game. Usually, like, th think about even AAA games these days. They will highlight the climbable sections with magical yellow paint or whatever. You can't climb on just anything. I mean, we can't climb on non-ladder slash vines either, but... It was a, it's a big deal when you're playing, like, a platformer. Man, think about, like, the original Mario... How much easier would Mario be if when you missed the jump, he caught the ledge and pulled himself up? And instead of just dying because you were off by that much, you've got a decent little wiggle room of error. And no, it would not affect 
the game at a higher level because the speedrunners cannot afford to miss the jump at all, right? So the people who are trying to be the best they can be, it's not going to affect them at all. It's only going to help the people who don't always make the jump. And we're going to Death Ward back up. All right, I believe we are past all of the dispel traps. We don't have to go back through the middle anymore, so we're going to buff up. And we're going to curb stomp the rest of this quest. And be done with the demon sands. There is... It's interesting that the Demon Sands only has four of the quests, right? So if you're... It's the four quests you would expect. Well, plus the raid. But yeah, it's the ones you expect. They cut the chaff out, really. There's an argument to be made that maybe the epic version of Sands is the definitive version. Because you don't have to do all of those random other quests. You didn't have to do them to begin with, but like, I don't know. Is it better that it's more concise? Or is it better when there's more stuff to explore? I think... I think I'm fine with them just not making the other ones epic. Because like, what are we missing? We're missing a Protect the Wagon quest that most people don't bother doing anyway. We're missing Light the Torches and Kill the Demons, which I like that quest. That one's got enough meat to it that that's probably my pick for which one I would add to the epic if they added epic to one of them. But the other ones, like the, the two identical other pyramids, there, there's just there's not enough meat on those for me to care if they're epic. I'm perfectly happy not having to do those right now. Like, I don't miss them. Same with the Kill the Scorpions quest. Like, I don't miss that quest. I especially don't miss the one where you run around in the mines and have to pick up all the rocks. And, like, I don't... They're busy work, right? They're fine at low level in the context of... It was a big pack. Like, that's the pack that had to keep everybody occupied for six months until the next pack came out. Like, sure, put more stuff out there. Put a little busy work out there. But when you graduate to Epic, you distill down the busy work. You don't need it anymore. I think it's fine. Like I said, I don't, I don't miss any of those quests. Now... That being said, I have done them relatively recently. Even counting the month the computer was out of commission, that still is more recently than I think a lot of other people have bothered doing Desert Caravan. You know, get, get off your back and stab her. All right, I believe we jump through here and we get our chest, right? We don't have to fight her twice right now, do we? No. Ooh, she does guard her treasure chest. Oh, we are going to fight her again. This is just me not remembering. Oh, she's dispelling our crap again. That's not good. Hey, and pay attention to me. Why are you beating up the hireling? Hey, you know, hireling. <laughs> Alright, we haven't been disenchanted yet. But I can see them floating around over there. But yeah, I just don't do this quest very often. So, maybe we fought her at Heroic and I just forgot. 
but we definitely didn't have to deal with those little dispelly orb thingies. Which I'm keeping an eye on because I don't want to end up vorpled because Death Ward falls off. Not crash. That was the whole computer pause there. All right, got some sand crystals. Only forty-two frag. Oh no, we got we got the other token there too. All right, we out. It's probably not a good sign that the computer froze up there for a second. I'm not seeing any status indicators as to why. I'm not convinced the warranty was worth it. Well, that was Epic Sands. It's technically, it's got one of the bigger differences between Heroic and Epic because six of its ten quests are unavailable. But I think it is for the best. I think that, especially in Epic, we really should be just doing the main big beats. Especially if they're not redoing the storyline. Like, technically, the Giant Hold quests have a separate storyline in Epic than they do in Heroic. It's very minor. But... Tech, they did address it. They did address it that it's technically a different storyline. But still feels weird to go out there and kill trolls for no reason. I kind of like that they distilled it down. Granted, it wasn't a, exactly a design choice, but I don't think they should bother coming back and making the other ones epic. I think it's fine as is. Strange as it is. We can always go play them on Heroic if we want to play them. And those kind of weaker quests make more sense for when you're level 11 than they do when you're level 24 anyway. So, where are we going next? Oh, I remember where we're going next. We are going to do one of my favorite packs again. We are going to go do the Kenneth Challenges Epic Mode. They are... <laughs> they are basically the same, but technically they have different quest entrances and everything. They are sort of different. <laughs> and I like them. An excuse to go to the Extra Planar Palace. Yeah. So, next time... More Candeth challenges. We're going to go say hi to the kobolds. So, see you then. <laughs>